Uh, bottling honey. I just want to show you the jars I got. Um, so this is my 43.5 pound pail of honey from Crazy Hive. And this is my 31 pound uh, pail of honey from Queen May or Dopey Hive. Pretty good. So I'm just going to show you my jars and maybe film a bit of me pouring honey because it is really soothing. Yes, I know that one and one or two Ain't no problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees These are 450 milliliters 750 milliliters these are 125 milliliters. These adorable little cuties are 250 milliliters, but I think I'm gonna save this for a uh, creamed honey. They're so cute. I get a lot of questions about pricing for honey. So what I do is I price my honey at 0 0.032 cents per milliliter and then I add one dollar for the jar and I normally round up and down to make it even um, either at a ten dollar fifteen or twenty or twenty five so to the nearest five dollar increment are the cards or tags that I put on my honey jars for Harbor Honey. So it has where it's from, the postal code, and my website on the front. And then on the back is what I do is I fill in my inf information because I really like having each batch um, individually packaged because they all have different flavors even from the same hive. So each honey super I give a name, you'll see at the bottom batch name, um, and then I fill out the details. So at the top there you'll see honey, honeycomb, creamed honey, whipped honey, or a honey product such as like lip balm or something like that, or if I'm making like a salad dressing. So that would go there and I would circle which one it is, and then the honey product has a line beside it because that's if I put something in it as well. So if there's additional um, information about it. So honey products, I'd put, um, for example, lip balm, and I'd write it there on that line. And the next one is the weight. Um, so I do milliliters. Uh, the grade, I would circle one of those, and I use a hydrometer um, to determine that. Doot, doot, doot. Light shell. Oh, sort of. <laughs> um, anyway, and then what color it is. So white, golden, amber, and dark ingredients. So if there's anything other than honey, sometimes I infuse my honey with different things like coffee or lavender or chilies, different things like that. So if there is any additional ingredients, I write it on that line. Infused with um, or tasting notes. So that's if I've added, let's say, um, chili flakes and then I remove them. Just so you know that it's been saturated with chili flakes, for example, or coffee. Um, and then tasting notes. So this batch of honey is very floral, so I would write floral on it. Or if I know specifically what it is, I would write that. Um, the hive number and the batch name. Um, so I have my notes here for each of my batches. Uh, so the weight, 43.5. How much honey I got. I have my quality here. So as long as it's not over 88 or below 70, then I'm good to go. 
um, yeah, and just notes about it. Like this one I put um, all capped honey. Um, I need to make a note here that this one had some uncapped honey, two frames worth. And then I have these Harbor Honey stickers, which I'll show you when I actually do it, but they go on the top, the little Harbor Honey logo, and then the Harbor Honey goes down the side so it acts like a tamper tag. And then I have my tags, which are tied around the neck of the jar, and I also have some other stickers coming, but that's about all I do for my honey, is those two things. Hey guys.